hey yo this list right here had some good it had some bad and just had some downright ugly let's get it I was going to go and do this entire list like live in front of everybody. And I was going to like try to give the first reaction to the list, but it's 200 singers, bro. Like that is one of the problems with the Rolling Stone list is that they are so long and they're so like 200. How are you going to put 200 singers in order? On what criteria are you basing it on? Straight vocalists, their career, a mixture of both. The genres don't like some genres call for a stronger vocalist and then others don't the black and white turns to gray very quickly so instead of going through every single artist and every single pick i decided to do this we're going over the ones that i'm glad to see in there then we're going to do the ones that are placed too high in my eyes and then too low in my eyes and then ones that were completely snubbed off the list and i couldn't fucking believe it because there's a couple guys if you like what you see consider liking the video it really does help the algorithm and push it out there also consider commenting and letting me know what you think also helps the algorithm if y'all want to join us live as we do these type of things over on twitch this is not done on twitch but a lot of our content is done live consider joining i promise you will like it most people like the live stream more than they do the actual channel and then lastly consider joining patreon most stuff goes to patreon first this is a topical time sensitive subject matter so this is not but everything else eminem reactions bts k-pop reactions anything internet related uh, like just reactions to funny videos all that goes to patreon first so if y'all want to support the channel consider doing that but other than that let's hop right into it starting with the ones that i'm happy to see on the list we have rolling out at number 200 the first one rosalia another one i'm glad to see on the list and really honestly might be low is going to be kelly clarkson people forget that kelly clarkson was the first winner of american idol which set in motion an entire genre of reality tv which is contestant based voting reality tv she was the original winner and for good purpose her vocals are crazy one that i'm glad to see on the list though and getting her props is jasmine sullivan at 182 jasmine sullivan's voice all the way from her first debut song i bust the windows i'll bust the windows out your car and no it didn't mend my broken heart jasmine sullivan got some chops on her bro that's all i'm trying to tell you one that i'm glad to see here but should actually be in the category where i think they got snubbed or way undervalued is chris stapleton chris stapleton's voice is butter bro He's one of the best male vocalists in all of country history. Chris Stapleton's voice is S tier. Cause you're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Now the main one that I will say that I as a Texan and I as someone who enjoys country music and didn't think would make the list, I didn't even consider this person making the list, was the king of country music, George Strait, at 156. George Strait, by no stretch of the imagination, has like a, an amazing voice, quote unquote. It's got a good tone, it's got a good texture, but he is not the singer of Chris Stapleton. But George Strait is the Michael Jackson. He is, I saw it earlier that they said somebody was the Sade of rock. He is the Sade of country music. The shit is smooth. He's the Frank Sinatra of country music. The shit is smooth, effortless, swaggy, just, filled with drip bro has done it all in his entire career 50 something number one singles bro he's the only man that i will let get away saying san antone nobody from san antonio says that hey ernest where are you from Ah, uh, you know dog just a good old san antone may my ancestors strike me down to my grave in that moment please all my exes live in texas like i'm jaw straight man's made it into a drake bar iconic another one that i'm glad to see on the list that i didn't even think about putting on here was lauren hill at 136 her voice is fantastic right but i don't i mean it's because i listen to rap mainly so i consider her a rapper before i consider her a singer but the miseducation of lauren hill a lot of it is singing x factor zion like all of these songs are phenomenal vocal performances from lauren hill so she's not the singer of christina aguilera who is also on this list lower than her but she is more iconic another one that i'm glad to see on the list and also think they got right if not slightly underrated was karen carpenter at 123 bro karen carpenter's voice is angelic she is she was a force a talent unlike any other at her time a lead singer but also behind the drum kit also vicente fernandez at 95 solid selena at 89 I didn't think that they would put Selena on here, but she is a she's the queen of Tejano music, bro. Chris Cornell at 80. I was wondering if they were going to put him on the list. Personally, I think Chris Cornell has the top 50 voice. All right. Next up, before we get to the snubs, the, let's get to the ones that are underrated or misplaced. 
starting with and i know when army saw this they were like some of them were going to be proud that he made the list but someone like me who has listened to bts who has listened to jungkook's voice jungkook is top 100 singers of all time i promise you especially if we're talking about this list and one of the criteria being what they have done in their career and the impact they have made. The man is the lead, is lead or main vocalist. They're different in K-pop, but he is the dude at the top of the vocals. If BTS were to break up, I'm not talking about this army hiatus. I'm talking about like if they actually disbanded because artists wanted to pursue solo careers, Jungkook would be the Justin Timberlake of the group. Hands down, not even a question. He is way too low right here. Also, Frank Ocean, way too, I want... 190 you're telling me that there's 189 vocalists that are better or have more control of their voice or better songwriters than frank ocean or have a more iconic career than frank ocean doubt it alicia keys maybe not top 100 depends on how you feel about her and her music and her career path in which it's gone but 185 is mad low she deserves to be above a decent amount of people that are above her like come on bro I get it. I get it because Ozzy Osbourne has the career and the infamy and the and the fame, not even just infamy that he does. And I get why he is as high as he is. But come on, dog. You're not about to sit me sit there and tell me that Ozzy is going to be at 112. Yes, he's had an illustrious career that spans decades. But come on be fucking for now this is the one that we want to get to right here we're talking about people that made the list but got snubbed there's only a couple of other people that are on this list that got snubbed harder than the weekend and the weekend at 110 they're telling me that there's 109 other vocalists above the weekend i get hate from it from the old heads because old heads don't want to admit that someone could potentially come close vocally to michael jackson and i'm not saying that he has the control that michael jackson had from the age of like five but in terms of tonality and the way their voices sound, the vibrato of Michael Jackson, the high-pitched nature of his voice, The Weeknd is as close as you're probably going to come to someone of Michael's vocal tone. The fact that he is at 110 is criminal, bro. And that brings me to the one that surprised me right after this. Bill Withers, if you want to put him over The Weeknd, that's completely fine because Bill Withers' voice is so smooth. Abel's voice is a complete, they're like apples and oranges, bitch. That phrase don't make no sense. Why can't fruit be compared? This bitch don't know about Pangea. But you are not about to tell me right now that Taylor Swift belongs above the weekend at 102. I, I get the appeal. It clicked with me finally. But her voice is nowhere near the originality or anything close to what Abel can do vocally. People are going to make the argument, but like, yeah, Taylor Swift, she's a global force. Yeah, you might have been able to make that argument during Trilogy Day. You're not about to sit there and tell me that the weekend is not the size of Taylor Swift. They are selling out the same stadiums. These two right here should easily be flipped. Not even a question. That is a snub for Abel if I've ever seen it. Not being in the top 100 is already a snub, but not being above Taylor? Come on. Right there in the top 100, again, Usher is probably properly placed. Usher is a better singer than The Weeknd in terms of control and range. The Weeknd's career is bigger than Usher's, but pound for pound, pound for pound, Usher during the Confessions era is just as big as The Weeknd in After Hours and Don FM era. We consume media differently now, so it's hard to make the comparison because it is two different ways. But if you bring Usher and you, and you give him a curve, for scaling up his numbers based off of a quote unquote inflation the same way you would do for money back then like what is money worth now i think that usher would pound for pound be close with the weekend now the reason why we are all here the biggest snub of them all michael jackson at 86 the man is the voice of a generation he is the michael jordan of pop music and the blurb for this the blurb for this gets me just as annoyed with the placement that he is at 86 because they are only placing him this low because of the legal battles and things that were going on toward the toward the twilight of his career. The moment that I read the blurb and it said, what we now know about his life makes his music harder to enjoy, I knew that they had did this to save face. They can't put a potential child predator high in the list. That's Rolling Stone's thought process when it comes to Michael Jackson regardless of that and i know that's harsh to say regardless of that if we're separating the art from the art form michael jackson should probably be in the top 20. he might not be number one or two and i think the list got right number one and two but michael jackson is not 86 bro get the fuck out of here again 
be fucking for real. I might just be a hater, and I'm letting you know right now, by might, I mean I'm definitely a hater, but Bruce Springsteen at, at 77, get the fuck out of here, bro. George Michael 62, I forgot that one. That one is also a solid placement, bro. Time can never mend careless whispers are a good friend to the heart and mind. Ignorance is kind. There's no comfort in the truth. You got your mind if you think I'm gonna try to hit those next notes. Shut the fuck up. But I mean, everything in the 50s is pretty much solid for me. I mean, we got Willie Nelson in the 50s. That's not that's not traditional, but that's solid. Tina Turner's in the 50s. Barry White's in the 50s. Sade in the 50s. That might be low. I think Sade breaks into the top 50, even if it's in like 47. But a little bit of a snuff for Sade considering her her icon status. Ariana Grande at 43 is people are going to be like, ooh, that might be a little high. I get it, but her vocal range is insane, bro. Insane. David Bowie, 32. I think David Bowie also got snubbed. I think David Bowie's top 20, maybe top 15 of all time. Adele at 22, honestly, is low. Adele, Adele should probably be top 10. And if they do this list at the end of her career, if she's not top 10, they fucked up. Elvis Presley at 17, fuck out of here, way too high. Freddie Mercury is top 10. This is too low. Beyonce 8, way too fucking high. But if we're including her span of her career with Destiny's Child and Beyonce, her persona and the beehive or whatever the fuck her fan base is called, the Beyonce stands, they got me like, just shut the fuck up about Beyonce already. And then these two are almost dead on where they should be Whitney Houston number two, Aretha Franklin, the goat at number one, 1,000%. But now we got to go over the snubs, dog. Like complete snub, not on the list. Where the fuck is Nora Jones? We got Fiona Apple in this bitch, but we don't got Nora Jones? Where the fuck is Justin Timberlake? He's not going to be the strongest vocalist. There are a good amount of vocalists on this list that are more powerful, that are more controlled, that are just better vocally. But if one of the main criterias is the list is career and influence, Justin Timberlake is Justin Timberlake. Where the fuck is Bruno Mars? You're telling me that there's 200 artists that are bigger or have better voices than Bruno Mars? Where the fuck is Drake? Nah, just kidding, fucking around. But the real reason why we're here and the main one that I don't know if people thought about, but after I say it, you're gonna be like, yes. Where the fuck is Chester Bennington? Chester Bennington should be just as high, if not slightly higher than Chris Cornell. Chester Bennington is probably top 50. Where is he?